worship uh, was just so beautiful. It's just so good knowing that this is the day of the Lord and it's our day for worshiping God. And yes, pure worship, just, it's just so beautiful. Yeah, so first of all, I just want to give our announcements. Um, we are here every we are here every Sunday. It's our family time. Praise the Lord. Just like now here we come together as a family just to worship God and just to fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. And Wednesday is our rest teaching where we learn deep about the teaching of God. Praise the Lord. And the rest teaching is where we just come to know more deeper and to grow deeper in, in the teaching. Praise the Lord. And then we have Friday. Friday is our rest prayer day where we learn how to pray in rest. This is just awesome. And yeah, we grow in the rest more and more as we listen to the teaching. The more we listen to the teaching, the more we just grow in the rest of God. This is just beautiful. And yeah, family, I encourage you, when you have time, come for Bible teaching and rest prayers on Friday. Praise the Lord. And yeah, let me just continue with our vision, saying who we are. Our vision as a family, we are called to rest deeper and deeper in all of God and none of anything else. Praise the Lord and to lead the world into God's rest. This is awesome. Family, God is leading us there. God is leading us into His rest. Uh, he's using everything that He's using to lead us into His rest. Praise the Lord. Our Bible verse. We have a Bible verse in the book of Hebrew. Hebrew chapter 4, verse 9 to 10. Yeah, verse 9 goes says, I was so blessed the day I just heard this verse. Verse 9 goes on and says, There remains therefore a rest to the people of God. Praise the Lord. There must be a rest for the people of God. Praise the Lord. Because if we say we serve God and we are lacking the rest, then there is something missing family. It's just so beautiful when the, the verse 9 says, There remains therefore a rest to the people of God. Wow. It's unfortunate that the people of God are not having rest. There's no rest in the church, even out there. One thing that people are seeking for in this world today is the rest of God. Awesome. And verse 10 is, God says, For he that is entered into his rest, he also had ceased from his own works, just as God did from his. It was so beautiful to know that God is at rest family. God is at the rest. Unfortunately, people do not want to rest. I don't know why, but there is just something in human creation that people want to finish everything themselves. People want to defeat the devil themselves. I just wonder if I were really able to defeat the devil. Family. I don't think it's possible. Because Jesus has defeated the devil for us already on the cross. Jesus has made a public show of the enemy on our behalf. So, God wants to enter us into his rest. And he's using everything we encounter in life just to take us deeper into his rest. Uh, the three languages is our slogans. Our slogans is our understanding or how we see things in life as a church. It's very important to identify ourselves who we are so that we do not mix ourselves with people out there. If we forget who we are, then we we'll start mixing ourselves or comparing ourselves with people out there. But <clears throat> when you understand our language, you will know deeper who we are. Praise the Lord. The first slogan or the first language we have in this place is, It is finished. It is finished is our anointing family. Praise the Lord. It is finished is is our revelation. Everything that we preach in this place, it comes from the concept of it is finished, praise the Lord. And how I just wish people would come to rest in the finished work of Jesus Christ. But it's few people that just choose to rest in the finished work of Jesus Christ. More people want to act. They, want, they don't want the finished work of Jesus, but Jesus has come that he give us rest, praise the Lord. 
In his finished work, he brought us a rest as well. And when Jesus said it is finished, everything has been finished. Jesus has conquered everything for us, family. Praise the Lord. And in it is finished, we found our healing. It is finished is our greatest prayer and I praise the Lord. And it's just a blessing to be in the realm of it is finished, knowing that you rest in the finished work of Jesus Christ. I mean, the purpose for Jesus going on the cross was not in vain for many. And it was not just for sin alone, it was for a lot of things. That's why Jesus said it is finished. Because the list continue and you can mention it non-stop, praise the Lord. And number two is life is not a fight by the rest in God. Life is not a fight by the rest in God. Resting in God because it is finished, praise the Lord. If you know who God is, if you put God in his place, if you just know that God is creator of heaven and earth, if you know that God knows the beginning to the end, if you understand that God has finished our end to our beginning, honestly, you can't change anything. All you do is just rest in God. And you realize that life is not a fight but the rest in God. You will see that God will just work out your life. Your tomorrow is already finished family and your battles have been won praise the lord jesus has won our battles on our behalf praise the lord therefore god has just called us to rest in him because he's our daddy god i don't think god as a father would want to give his children in the hands of the devil to fight devil day and night but god created us to worship him praise the lord mankind god created human beings for himself to worship him, praise the Lord. Amen. And verse 3 or number 3 All things work together for our good unconditionally because it is finished, praise the Lord. All things work together for our good unconditionally. You know, in life, family, as a child of God, people who are people of relationship with God, you realize that in life, Whatever you encounter in life, it works out together for our good. And religion has taught us wrong. Religion says that God only uses the good. That's why the church stays in fight and in battles. Because when we see the bad, we think it's the devil. But for a child of God, when you see the bad, know that that bad is not working against you. God bring forth this bed in our life to bring us closer to Him, to encourage us, to give us direction, and just to have a deeper intimacy relationship with God. So for family, life is not a fight, but the rest of God. Honestly, how I just, you know, when you are encountering something in life with the understanding of it is finished, you just know, God, what are you teaching me through this? This is what I learned from Pastor. Anything, something come before me, and I'm led to ask God, what are you teaching me through this? There's always a lesson in something. Praise the Lord. Amen. And our purpose as a family, and our calling, our calling or our purpose is to raise a generation called Rest Generation. Wow. Rest Generation is a set of people that believes in the finished work of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. You know, it is finished. It is finished family and God wants us to rest in his finished work. There is the finished work of God, there is the finished work of Jesus Christ. The finished work of Jesus Christ was redemption on the cross and the finished work of our daily God is predestination. God created our life, he predestined our life from our beginning to our end. So nothing is a surprise to God. So these people who believe in predestination, people who believe that their life has been finished, these are rest generation, praise the Lord. People who believe that my tomorrow has been finished and I walk in the will of Jesus Christ. I do not have my own will but the will of God, praise the Lord. These are rest generation people, praise the Lord. Yeah, family, let's enjoy the service. Amen.